Hello everyone, this is Providencia. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to show you how I made this entire play from start to finish. So, this is a come cook with me video. And yeah, that's what we're going to do today. On this plate, we have some picadillo, which is like basically like a ground beef stew. White rice, beans with banana balls, which is bolitas. Fried plantains with garlic and mayo ketchup. And we are going to do this from the beginning to the end. So this video is going to be type long, so I hope you can bear with me. Also, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave positive comments because, I don't know, I've been feeling a little funky these days, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> In the sense that, I don't know, sometimes I be feeling like maybe I'm wasting my time on this channel as far as my videos because my subscriber account does not match with the views that I get in my videos and I've been feeling a little disappointed and thinking maybe this channel I should just let it go maybe it's not for me anymore and I don't want to think negative like that you know so please a thumbs up will be great <laughs> a thumbs up will be great for that way YouTube could recommend my videos to other people with that being said Let's continue with this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is do my rice. I have a pot of boiling water. This is a big pot. You're going to see it a little later on. This takes two burners <laughs> to make all this rice. And I'm going to add some salt. Next, I'm going to make my garlic. I got some ajicitos dulce. I'm going to write the word down somewhere in this video in case you want to go and find it in your local supermarket. It's best to try to get these peppers in a Spanish supermarket. So yeah. I also have my garlic and I am going to use a pesto or pilon like how we say it. And I'm going to smash away. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Don't add too much salt because this is gonna go into recipes that I'm making today and you don't wanna salt your food. My ajicitos dulce and my garlic is smashed. Yes, that's a lot, but again, like I said, I'm gonna use this for several recipes that I'm making this particular day. And I'm going to place everything into a bowl. It depends how much garlic cloves you want to add. I like to add a lot of garlic into my food. So yes, it's a lot of garlic. But if you have some leftover, just put it in a small container and put it in your refrigerator. And you can use it tomorrow to season something else. Next, I'm going to work on the beans. Now, you've seen these beans several times in my channel. But this time, we're going to add some banana balls, which is bolitas. It's very, very good. I am going to add about three tablespoons of ranchero. It's a liquid seasoning. But if you got sofrito, add sofrito. I didn't have sofrito that day, so that's why I use ranchero. Although I've been loving to use ranchero in my beans. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of the garlic and ajicitos blend that you just saw right now. Every time you add something, just try to let it cook for at least about a minute. And this is on low heat. You don't want this on high, not yet. I'm going to add a tablespoon of tomato paste. You can also use a can of tomato sauce, the 8 ounce one, the small one. I'm going to add a half of onion, also a half of pepper, use any pepper and onion of your choice, whatever you have in your refrigerator. <laughs> And again, let this simmer for a few minutes for all those flavors to blend well together. I also have some chicken bouillon. I hope I'm saying that right. And I'm going to add about like maybe half a teaspoon. Do not add a lot because that chicken bouillon is, is a little salty. So I add it little by little. I'm going to add some oregano. Some black pepper. And I'm gonna add a can of pinto beans. Now this is the bigger can. You're gonna see it right now. These beans are from Aldi's and I always talk about these pinto beans in this channel. It's one of my favorite pinto beans now. I always buy it. I don't try any brand except that one. This is a 29 ounce can. It's a little bigger than the normal cans that you see in the supermarket. Once you add your beans, put your burner on high and mix everything together. Make sure it cooks for a few minutes. I am going to add a can and a half of water. Do not throw away the can. <laughs> it will thicken up. You're going to see later on in this video. Once you see your beans is coming to a boil, you're going to want to do this step. Add your culantro. Make sure you add a decent amount. If you want to add cilantro, add cilantro. But me, I like to add culantro. It just gives the beans such a great flavor. Make sure you taste the broth of the beans. And if you feel you need to add a little bit of more chicken powder, chicken bouillon, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> then you add a little bit more. And let it come to a boil until it thickens up. Ow, ow, 
mucho más, se me olvidó el tema, loco. Oh, no, espera, espera, te voy a enseñar, mira, mira. Oh, mira. Dice, au, 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 esa cosa está quemado, mao, mao, she's a I added my rice and I'm tasting the water to see if I need to add more salt. I felt it was good on salt, so I left it like that. And I'm gonna add my canola oil. Make sure your rice come to a boil and make sure it's on high heat. Now I eyeballed my rice, that's why I'm not going into details with the rice. And I do plan to one day just take straight measurements just to show you how to make my rice. Because rice of any kind, I eyeball. Like I could just look at it and see, I gotta add more water, I gotta take out more water, and that sort of thing. But one day I do plan to do a specific detailed rice video for you guys. As you can see, I pushed the pot to the other side for this could take two burners. Because if not, it's going to take a long time to cook this rice. This rice is usually done within like 45 minutes. And yeah. <laughs> Once your rice dried up, form it into a little mountain. Add your aluminum foil. Cover it up. And bring your stove to low heat. Off camera, I cooked this ground beef, but I didn't add anything. This ground beef had a lot of fat. And usually when it has a lot of fat, I like to drain it out because I just don't sit well with all the water and grease that's in the ground beef. I added some extra virgin olive oil, two packs of sazon, I'm gonna add a lot of garlic. That's about a tablespoon of garlic. A tablespoon of tomato paste. Also, I forgot to mention that this is five pounds of ground beef. Like close to six, but I'm gonna say five. So I'm gonna go very heavy on the ingredients. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. That's what gives it a little kick, a different flavor to your ground beef. Black pepper. Oregano. And I'm going to squeeze a half of lime. I'm also going to add some water. Start off with less than half cup of water. I'm going to add some ranchero. Remember, I don't have no sofrito. But if you want to add sofrito, you can add sofrito. Add about three tablespoons of ranchero. Off camera, I cut my onions and my peppers. Use whatever peppers and onions you have in your house. Now, I was going to add only half of this because I was like, okay, this is too much. 
but and then later on you see that I added everything <laughs> it all depends on you how much peppers and onions you want into your ground beef it also depends how many pounds of ground beef you buy Loving how you wind up for me tonight is all on me. My shop the place for me. Yeah, yeah. She just wanna highlight. While I'm cooking this, this is on um, medium low. I need a taste, baby. Taste, baby. Loving the way, yeah. loving the way you move around me. No more delay. No, you can wait to shut it down. Won't you show me how you work it? I'm going to add a little bit of the juice of a can of corn. It just adds a little sweetness to your ground beef. It really tastes really good. I'm also going to add a half can of corn. I'm going to add a can of mixed vegetables. If you got the frozen one, you know, add the frozen one. But I didn't have frozen vegetables, so canned vegetables it is. <laughs> Sometimes you got to work with what you got in your kitchen. Taste your ground beef just to see if you need to add a little bit more salt or a little bit of something. But let me tell you something. This ground beef is so delicious. I'm not saying it because I made it. It's because for real, my kids get happy when I make this ground beef. Make sure that your fire is on medium low and cover it up. And this should be done maybe five to seven minutes. This recipe is done really, really quick. Next, I am cutting my two green bananas. Please do not confuse the green bananas with green plantains. No, green bananas. And we are going to grate this because we're going to add it to our beans to make the bolitas. This is the part of the grater you're going to want to use. I was about to grate these bananas without no plate in the bottom but and then I said whoa wait a minute I have to you know add this grater to a plate uh, the things that goes on in the kitchen trust me especially when I do these videos recording and positioning cameras making sure nothing is burning if everything is okay making sure the kitchen is clean it ain't easy <laughs> Make sure you be careful with your fingers when you're reaching the ending of your green bananas, okay? Imagina tú y yo 
Escuchando y cosí, te comete triste, estamos ahí, te pero culpamos la weed. Soy francés, me dice oui, vamos otra vez para París. Allá donde te lo metí, que es así. No tengo un frenesí. La tina de moe, tomante de carte, te encima sin brasier. A tu lado, en memoria su modo caro. So here's the masa, which is like the mashed bananas I'm only gonna add some salt a little bit of salt that's it you don't need to add much of anything because the sauce of the beans is gonna flavor that masa just add a little salt <laughs> And yes, I am tasting it like that, nice and raw, just to make sure it's not salty or none of that. <laughs> so my ground beef is almost done. Remember, this is going to cook quickly. <laughs> And towards the end, I like to add some cilantro or culantro. This particular day, I added some culantro. Just chop it up very small. Mix it all up and turn off the fire. I'm gonna check up on the beans and I'm gonna taste it just to make sure everything is good with the flavors in case I gotta add a little bit more salt or chicken powder or whatever. But I didn't need to do that, so yeah. I'm also gonna remove the onions, peppers, and culantro from the beans. The flavors is already in the beans, so don't worry about it. If you want to go and use like a small blender or food processor, you could also blend this up and put it back into your beans. But I don't do that because imagine, <laughs> I'm already cooking a lot and I'm going to take the extra step to go and blend this in a blender. No, <laughs> no ways. But you could if you want to. <laughs> the whole point of doing this is that you want some nice clean beans. And like I said, all the flavors is already in the beans. I'm gonna use a tablespoon to spoon out all of my masa. And here is the trick to do this. When you spoon out your masa, or should I say mashed bananas, make sure you just put it in there slowly. Don't move it, okay? You do not wanna move this while it's raw like that. Because then you're gonna have a nice mess in your beans. Let it cook, let it do its thing. And then if you want, you can move it a little bit, but you wanna make sure that it's cooked for a little while. If you move it as soon as you just put it in there, trust me, your beans is not gonna look pretty. You're gonna have a hot mess. So just leave it alone for at least like two minutes then, you know, move it a little bit. And you're gonna want this on high heat. These bolitas or banana balls cook at least like five to seven minutes.
pretend Two times won't you be mine We just can't pretend This love thing can take time Three times then I'm in I heard through the grapevines You missing a playtime Girl Your beauty make them bow down. I need that body right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The love will never die down. So at this point, I can see that it's, it's a little done. So after a few minutes, now I'm moving it around. Checking out the texture of the beans, which I want it to be a little bit more thicker than that. And yeah, just leave it on high. Let it cook until you get the consistency that you want in your beans and make sure your banana balls are cooked. We fly till the end. My hands on your waistline. Sky high, I'm also checking up on the rice. I turned it and I'm gonna cook it for an extra 10 minutes. I'll be right here by your side. I'll be right here by your side forever. And no matter the ups and downs, I'll be right here by your side. I'll be right here by your side forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also decided to make fried plantains. Yes, I was in a mood to cook that day and I wanted to cook everything. <laughs> so I got my plantains here. I'm cutting it from side to side, doing the slits. If you have an issue peeling your bananas or plantains, all you have to do is run it in hot water for like a minute or two and it should like peel off easily. And I'm gonna cut my plantain. You could do it sideways or you could do it just regular. I've done it different shapes when it comes to plantains. Just make sure that it's like about an inch thick. You don't want no skimpy plantains. We're not making platano chips. Although I do have a video on how to make plantain chips. But anyways, <laughs> you don't want no plantain chips. One time out of ten. I'm going to add my plantains to some water. And you're going to want to salt your water. Add a lot of salt. Taste the water and make sure that it's a little salty it's not gonna interfere with the plantains me personally I never salt my plantains once it's done because my plantains is already flavored and with the garlic I, I don't need to add salt to my plantains Next, I'm going to make the ajo, which is the garlic sauce for my plantains. And I'm using that same garlic that you saw me smashed earlier. You're going to want to add extra virgin olive oil and white vinegar. Now, I eyeball this as well. <laughs> I do. And I know a lot of people like specific measurements, but this is something I eyeball just tasting as I go. <laughs> I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. Now the taste that you're looking for is, you wanna taste the extra virgin olive oil but you want to taste the vinegar a little bit more. 
If it tastes too much like extra virgin olive oil, then you're doing it wrong. Add a little bit more vinegar. And that's the only way I could explain it. If you want a more like detailed video on this sauce, you let me know. I'll have to be in the kitchen taking measurements one golden day and then I'll do a video on it. But you want this to taste a little bit more like vinegar more than the extra virgin olive oil. Just keep that in mind. Next, we're gonna do the mayo ketchup. Now, when you make mayo ketchup, you're supposed to add like three spoons of mayonnaise, three spoons of ketchup, but I do like it on the lighter side, so I'm adding three spoons of mayonnaise, and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of ketchup. I am going to add some hot sauce, my son Chunky, that's his name, yes, we call him Chunky. He loves when I make this sauce with the hot sauce. You do not have to add hot sauce when you make this sauce. You can leave it just like that. I am adding some onions and I cut them very, very small just for it don't be too noticeable. And I added it in there. If you want to add onion powder, you can add onion powder. If you want to grate a clove or two of garlic, you could also do that as well or add garlic powder. It's pretty endless how you can make the sauce. And here are the sauces for my plantains. I love them both. I can't pick which one is my favorite. <laughs> my husband likes the garlic one. I like both of them. My son likes the mayo ketchup one. Like, it's hard to choose. <laughs> when you fry your plantains, make sure it's on medium high. You don't want it too high because then it's going to burn and it's not going to be cooked in the inside and then you don't want it too low because and then, no. Make sure your burner is on medium to medium high. You're going to want to cook this for at least five, six minutes.
it's time to smash the plantains. If you have a tostonera, you could use that. If you want to use it with two plates in between, you could do it like that. I'm just using this wood thingy and that's how I'm smashing my plantains. Oh God, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. My video was just interrupted with a phone call, but back to this, yes, you're gonna wanna smash it. Once it's smashed, put into your oil and you're going to want to cook this for another maybe three minutes. Again, on medium high heat. It's already cooked. You just want it nice and crispy on the outside. And let me tell you something. Everyone loves my plantains. There are a few things. Mind you, I know how to cook really good. But there's just a few things that I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I'm the bomb making that, okay? And the tostones is one of them. <laughs> Everyone loves my tostones. Everyone loves my garlic sauce. That's like number one to everybody. And here is everything on the counter. I also made some lettuce. Made it nice and pretty. <laughs> I'm telling you, this day, I was in the mood to cook. I wanted to be in that kitchen and cook all day for my family. The nice sauces with the nice cute little spoons. <laughs> Those nice, beautiful, golden, crispy plantains. And I made a homemade salad dressing. To go with the lettuce and all that good stuff. And here is the final plate. Oh my goodness. Some nice picadillo, ground beef. I like to squeeze a wedge of lime into my meat. It tastes so good. It's optional if you want to do it. The sauces, those beautiful tostones that I love and everyone else loves as well. My rice, salad, and the beans with the bolitas. Listen, I Love those bolitas, okay? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love those bolitas in the beans, okay? I highly recommend that you make it. I also make it with plantains. One day I'll do a video on that. Also, I'm going to make some Puerto Rican beans very, very soon. I'm going to show you a video of what I made a few days ago and I didn't record it. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I should have. And I made some delicious Puerto Rican beans that everyone was like, oh my God, this is so good. I'm going to show you the video right now. These are the beans I'm talking about it. I made it with some ham, potatoes. I did it with pinto beans, but I want to do this recipe with pink beans. It's more traditional, more Puerto Rican. And I'm going to make sure that I record it next time. I also had it with some white rice, avocado, sweet plantains, pernil, which is pork shoulder, and some macaroni salad. 
The only thing is, I didn't record none of it. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video is long. I don't know. Like I said earlier, I've been feeling like, oh, I don't know. YouTube is not working for me. I don't think nobody likes my videos. What am I doing wrong? Then I think, okay, maybe the videos are too, too long. But I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. There's a whole bunch of people that I'm subscribed to and their videos be as long as mine and they get a whole bunch of views, likes, all that good stuff. So it cannot be the length of my videos. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just don't know and it is what it is. But yeah, I've been feeling a little funky about this channel. Where is it going? Where's the growth? If you're watching for the first time or you're new to my channel, I've been doing YouTube since 2013. Yes, I'm old school, okay? Old school. I've been on the game since 2013. So, I, I don't know what's up with that. But, yeah, it would be nice if you go and give this video a like. Subscribe if you're watching for the first time. I also have a whole bunch of playlists with different foods. I got come cook with me videos. I got food prepping videos for events. I have Latin cuisines. I even got American cuisine. Like check out my playlist. You'll be able to see a whole bunch of videos there. Even watch the old ones. They're informative. <laughs> you're gonna like them. And yeah. I hope you guys have been staying a little bit cozy because it's been getting a little cold out there. Yes, fall is coming. I can't wait. <laughs> I hate summer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And that's it. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.